Greetings everyone, welcome to the 14th episode of Churches of Wales Season 1. In this series, I take a look at buildings part of the Church in Wales and Covenanted Churches in Wales. In the last episode, I looked at churches around the towns of Brecon, Talgarth and Hayonwy, where I saw many beautiful buildings in those towns and settlements like Crickenden, Glasbury, and more. In this episode, I will look at churches that are situated from the towns of Brecon and Talgarth to Crickowell. I am Fabian Musto, and I present you the first season of Churches of Wales. In order to find these churches, I will use the Ordnance Survey map on Geograph as my reference for spotting church symbols, from maps of the 1920s, to maps of the 2010s and 20s. I apologize if some of my pronunciations of these place names are incorrect, since I am not a Welsh speaker. The first place I am at is situated within the Black Mountains, and the hamlet name is Welsh for Chapel of the Boundary, since the settlement is north from the county boundary with Breconshire and Monmouthshire. There is a church to St. Mary south of the River Hunthy, and this was established as a chapel of ease to this village around the 15th century. The present building dates from 1762, although it was altered in 1817 when the south porch was built. The gallery and pulpit dates from the 1780s, and the medieval font from the previous church is present. This was grade 2 listed in September 1961, and is one of the smallest churches in Wales. The south end of the churchyard is home to seven yew trees, six of which are veterans. North of the River Hunthy is the Baptist Church, and the chapel was converted from a house in the mid-18th century. The building and fittings date from the mid-19th century, and this was grade 2 listed in September 1961. Four miles southeast from Glasbury is an English Baptist church, first built in 1783 and rebuilt in the early 19th century. This is situated at the north end of the Black Mountains, and this was grade 2 listed in December 1995. A mile and a half southwest from Talgarth is Trefferca, where there was a memorial chapel to Howell Harris at Trefferca College, born in the village on 23rd January 1714. This was built in 1872 to serve the Calvinistic Methodist College, and this replaced the former chapel at the southeast wing. This Gothic-style building was demolished by the 2000s, and the college now houses a lay training centre for the Presbyterian Church of Wales. West from there are the ruins of a congregational independent chapel, established in 1690 and built around the early 19th century. The chapel closed as a place of worship around the early 20th century, and the building was in ruins by 1947. Northwest from that chapel is this grade 1 listed church south of the A470 road, dedicated to this saint from the 5th century AD, who was a daughter of this king. The church has origins to the 11th century, when the nave was built, and the present building dates from the 12th to 15th century. The Norman font is one of the oldest features in the building, dating from the 12th century, and the church was restored in 1913 and 1951. This architect restored the church in 1913 and 1926 to 30, and he preserved the root screen and loft of the 15th century. The West Bell Tower at the church dates from 1881, and east of the building is the stone lichgate from the 18th century, restored in 1925 as a war memorial to the people who gave their lives in the First World War. This was grade 2 listed in January 1963, and the church was grade 1 listed at the same time. Half a mile south is a former United Reformed Church, built in 1898, as a congregational independent chapel. The corrugated iron structure housed a place of worship until the 2000s, and was converted into a private residence during the early 2010s. West from the B4560 road is a former church in a circular oval churchyard, and several yew trees surround the building. This church is dedicated to this 6th century saint, 
and the structure has 13th century origins. This was rebuilt by the Reverend Gregory Parry in 1710, and medieval fabric survives inside. The building was grade 2 listed in January 1963, and was converted to a house from 2002 to 2004 by David Robedo. A mile and a half southwest from there is a small village, which has a church dedicated to St. Michael and All Angels. This medieval church has a bell tower and porch in the perpendicular Gothic style, and the building was built on the site of an earlier church. The nave houses a circular font from the 12th century, and the building mainly dates from the 15th century, including the West Tower Arch. This was restored by Thomas Nicholson from 1869 to 70, and the church was grade 2 listed in January 1963. There is a Seon Calvinistic Methodist chapel north from the church, and the vernacular style building behind me housed the chapel from 1822 to the 2000s, although it was rebuilt in 1839 and 1865. A mile west from there is the Church of St. Mary, built on the site of an early Christian church that was dedicated to this 6th century saint. The dedication was changed to St. Mary in the 14th century, when this housed a chapel of ease to St. John's Benedictine Priory in Brecon. This was mainly rebuilt in the 17th century, although the 13th century font in the nave survives, along with the late 15th century ceiling in the chancel. This was partially restored in the 19th century, and was grade 2 star listed in January 1963. Two and a half miles east from Brecon is an old Calvinistic Methodist chapel, which closed for worship by 2001. The Horeb Chapel was built in the vernacular style in 1836. The United Reformed Church behind me was built as the Tabernacle Independent Chapel in 1893, and this simple Gothic-style building replaced two earlier chapels from 1841 and 1813 respectively. This is east from the former Brecon to Merthyr railway line. East from the River Usk is the Church of St. Peter, which is also dedicated to this 6th century saint, and this has medieval origins to the 14th or 15th century, the time when the West Bell Tower was constructed. The church was restored in 1804 when the South Isle was removed, and S. W. Williams of Rader mainly rebuilt the church in 1887. This rebuild included the addition of wall paintings on the east wall of the chancel, and in the north wall of the chancel is a recumbent stone effigy, which may date from the early 14th century. There is a 9th or 10th century inscribed stone in the church, which was recovered from the ruins of a medieval rectory. The church was grade 2 listed in July 2005, although the Lichgate to the northeast does not have listed status as of February 2023. A mile northwest from there is the site of a Wesleyan Methodist chapel, situated north from the Monmouthshire and Brecon Canal. Built in 1848, this was demolished during the 20th century. Two and a half miles south from Brecon is a former Congregational Independent Chapel, possibly built during the late 19th century. This was converted to a private house in 1999. A mile east from there is the Church of St. Mary, which has origins to around the 14th century. The West Bell Tower dates from around 1600, and the church was rebuilt in 1829. This was restored by Charles Buckeridge in 1867, and he also partly rebuilt the structure. The churchyard is home to several yew trees, and nine yew trees form the North Avenue to the church. This was grade 2 listed in July 2005. Here is St. Brynach Parish Church in this village and community, built by William Jones of Brecon from 1855 to 56. This building replaced an earlier building from the 14th century, and the West Bell Tower dates from that century. The interior houses a few monuments from the 18th century, and in the west end of the nave is an early Christian stone from the 10th century. This was grade 2 listed in January 1963, and west from there is the Baptist Chapel of 1832. This chapel closed as a place of worship by 2000. 
Half a mile southwest from Penkley is a church from the 14th century, which probably has origins to the 7th century AD when an early Christian church was built on the site. The church is dedicated to this saint, and the present building on the site dates from 1272 when the nave was first built. The north aisle was added during the 14th century, but was rebuilt in the late 15th century when the chancel was extended. The church was restored by S. W. Williams of Raider in 1891, and was grade 2 star listed in January 1963. The churchyard is home to 12 yew trees, and two of them are ancient, while seven of them are veterans. Opposite the Royal Oak in Penkley was the Penuel Calvinistic Methodist Chapel, built in the vernacular style in 1858. This was modified into a house after the chapel closed for worship during the 20th century. A mile northwest from Talabont on Usk is a former mission church at Lower Cross Oak, built of iron in 1878. This was demolished in 1970, and the foundations and entrance gate to the site survives. West from the Monmouthshire and Brecon Canal is an independent chapel, first built in 1836 and modified in 1858. This was rebuilt in the simple round-headed style in 1903. There was a Bethania Calvinist Methodist Chapel in Mill Lane, built in 1834 and rebuilt in 1905. This was heavily modified around 1980, when it was converted into a private house. The Mission Church in Talabont on Usk was built in 1911, and was used as a field studies center by Wilson's Grammar School, Camberwell, from 1969 to around the 2000s. A mile northeast from Talabont on Usk is St. Fried's Church by the A40 Road, situated in Land St. Fried. There was a medieval church on the site prior to the construction of the church from 1690, and this building had a tower that was described by Theophilus Jones as a beehive in 1809. This was replaced by a new building by S. W. Williams of Raider from 1884 to 85, and he retained some medieval features, such as the stoop and font. The church was grade 2 listed in December 1998, along with the tomb to Henry Vaughan that is east of the church. All Saints Parish Church in Bulk was built as a mission church from 1897 to 1902, and this is south from the A40 Road. Before the early 2010s, the west end of the nave had a bell turret as seen in this photograph from September 2009. Northeast from the church is the Penuel Calvinistic Methodist Chapel, which housed an English Presbyterian church before it closed for worship in 2013. The chapel was first built in 1817, rebuilt in 1844 and modified in and 1874. Built in the simple round-headed style, this is now a private house. West from the B4560 road is the former church to St. Michael, built on the site of a medieval church during the late 19th century. The West Bell Tower and chancel were built by E. H. Martineau in 1868, and the nave was rebuilt by S. W. Williams in 1894. This was grade 2 listed in August 1998, and the early Gothic Revival style building closed for worship by the 2000s, which was subsequently converted into a private house. Placed at the south end of Plangorse Lake is a church by the south landing stage at the lake, and this is dedicated to a saint that reputedly tutored Saint Kinnog. There was a medieval church on the site, which was replaced by the present building of 1850 by J. L. Pearson. The rebuild was commissioned by Robert Rakes from Yorkshire, who purchased the local estate here in the 1840s. He was at the University of Oxford in the 1830s, where he was influenced by the Oxford movement, and became a Tractarian. The interior of the church reflects these principles, although the chancel screen was removed in recent times. The church was grade 2 star listed in January 1963, and the Lichgate of 1850 to the southwest was grade 2 listed in August 1998. Here is the parish church in Plangorse by the B4560 road, which is dedicated to this saint. The medieval church was possibly built to succeed a local Celtic monastery from the 7th century AD, and early Christian stones from the 7th to 9th century are in the south aisle. 
The South Island wagon roof were built during the 15th century, along with the West Bell Tower, and the organ in the east end of the aisle was built in Cardiff in 1764, this was installed at Clangorse Church in 1894. The chancel was rebuilt when Thomas Nicholson restored the church in 1874, and this was grade 2 star listed in January 1963. Southwest from the church is the Penuel Independent Chapel, built in 1869 on the site of an earlier chapel from 1823. This closed for worship by the time the chapel was grade 2 listed in August 1998. East from there is the Bethel Calvinistic Methodist Chapel, built in the simple round-headed style in 1852. This replaced an earlier chapel from around 1800, and the chapel was converted into a private house by 1994. Some three miles southeast from Talgarth is a former independent chapel, situated near the Black Mountains that are in the background. The stone building dates from 1862, possibly designed by Thomas Thomas of Landora, and is now a private house. West from the A479 road is a former English Presbyterian church, built as the Calvinistic Methodist Chapel in 1860. This replaced an earlier chapel from 1835, and was converted into a private house in recent years. East of the A479 road is a former Congregational Independent Chapel, built around 1840 on the site of an earlier chapel from 1805. The Penuel Chapel was built two decades after the local independent community was established here in 1785, and this was grade 2 listed in October 1998, sometime before the chapel closed as a place of worship. The parish church of St. Michael in this village is also east of the A479 road, and this was consecrated around 1060. The West Bell Tower of Three Stages dates from the 15th century, and the medieval church was enlarged during that time. That building was in ruins by the early 19th century, and it was rebuilt by the Reverend Thomas Price from 1831 to 33. The church was restored in 1907 when the North Isle was removed, and this was grade 2 star listed in July 1963. The Church of St. John the Evangelist was built on the site of an earlier church from the 18th century, and the present building was built by J. L. Pearson from 1876 to 77. The building is in the center of the village at a roundabout, and this was grade 2 listed in October 1998. The Congregational Independent Chapel by Tratower Castle was also grade 2 listed at the same time, and this was built in the simple Gothic style in 1844. This is now a private house. South of Tratower and the A40 Road is a stone chapel from 1852, built for the Glanusk Estate by Joseph Bailey. This estate church is on private grounds, and is only open during the estate fair in May. That church is north from the River Usk, while this English Baptist church is south of the Usk, situated some three miles west from the previous church. This was built in the vernacular style in 1858, replacing an earlier chapel building from around 1800. Here is the parish church of St. Mary in this village and community, which is also dedicated to this 6th century saint. The dedication to that saint suggests an early medieval foundation, but this building was rebuilt by J. H. Willis of London in 1871. The church was destroyed by fire on the night of 13th of December 1928, and only the walls remained standing when this photograph was taken after the fire. Mercer and Evans rebuilt the church in 1929, using the surviving masonry from the old church except the upper wall faces of the nave. This does not have listed status as of February 2023. The former Welsh Wesleyan Methodist chapel, southwest from the parish church, was built in 1847 and closed for worship in 1950. It is opposite the Sardis United Reformed Church to the north, which is still in use as a place of worship as of 2023. This was first built in 1838, then rebuilt in the simple round-headed style in 1890. Two miles west from that village is a church dedicated to St. Tetter, and this is south from the River Usk. The building has origins to the 13th century, 
but most of the features dates from the 15th century. There is an early Christian stone from around the 9th century AD, and this is by the priest's door in the south wall. The building was restored in 1878, with the ceiling replaced in 1934, and the church was grade 2 star listed in January 1963. East from Talabond Reservoir is the former independent chapel of 1870, which replaced an earlier chapel from 1841. The Saw Chapel was used as a place of worship until the late 20th century, when it was converted into a private house. Southwest from the aforementioned reservoir is the site of a chapel of ease from the medieval times, and this was built in the vernacular style which was altered in the early 19th century. This closed for worship in 1948, and the interior was gutted prior to demolition in 1973. The last place I will look at in this episode is an independent chapel, built in 1762 and extended in 1856, which was remodeled in 1876. The simple round-headed style building was grade 2 listed in December 1998. I am standing west of the Abba Chapel to end this episode, and I enjoyed looking at the religious buildings from Brecon and Talgarth to Crick Howell. The next episode will end the first season of Churches of Wales, and I will look at churches that follow the county boundary from the southeast to the southwest.